Hey guys. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good. How are you? It's all good. Good to see you guys. Good. Enjoying your day, enjoying the rain. I'm good. All right. Nice to see you, Rafa. How was your day, man? We're good. Jenny, nice to see you, Jenny. Nice How's to see you day? too, teacher. Good. All right. Good, good. Good. All right. Who's working from home here? Is anybody here working from from home? Yeah, me. You are working from home? Oh, nice, nice. Yes, I work in two days in the office and three days in the home. Hey, that's actually cool because, you know, too much of too much of anything is not, it's not good, you know, like if you spend too much time working from home, it's not good for you. And I think, you know, like too much time working from your workplace is also not good for you, right? So I think, it's good that you have that balance. That's great. So what is it that you do, Maylin? I forgot, you know that you told me, but what is it that you, that you do? I, I work in for a college agent. For a what agent? Uh, money. Money, money agent, okay. Uh, um, collect, uh, collect, uh, okay. gestor de cobro. Collect. Oh, okay, yeah. all right. Okay, you you are a collector. A collector. collector. Okay. I'm working for a Central America and El Caribe. Oh, nice! Look at you. All right. That's great. Oh, is it me or is it raining? Hold on. Oh no, it is raining. Yeah, it is raining. I thought I heard. You know, I thought I thought uh, I thought. Uh, I thought it, it was me, but now it's raining. Anyways, guys, so today, guys, uh, did we finish the platform? Did we, did we finish section number three and uh, and the midterm? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. All right. Nice. Yes, teacher. All right, guys, so we're going to go over the answers today, okay? And uh, if you haven't finished because you know you don't understand some of the answers, that's fine. All right, today we we are gonna talk about relative clauses, okay? All right, so we we're gonna we're gonna continue where we left off yesterday. All right, guys. So let's do a quick review. Rafael, what what's a clause, Rafael? What's a clause? A clause is uh, take a look sorry. at your notes, right? You should be taking notes, guys. So question. Sorry, one, but guys. I can't arrive home today because I live uh, near the stadium. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was the the game? I mean, I know the game is today. Yeah. But was it here in El Salvador? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I don't. I don't really watch soccer, so <laughs> I never know about that. Um, so. Okay. But anyways, okay. So, so who can tell me, guys, what a clause is? It's a group of uh, words contain, containing a subject and a predicate. Very good. Okay, a group of words. Thank you very much, Maria Evelyn. Containing a subject and and a verb okay or you can say a predicate too right so it's a group of words containing a subject and a verb okay all right now we have in general we have two types of clauses right what are the two types of clauses that we learned about what are the two types of clauses we learn about which ones mm -hmm. Independent, close, and dependent. Very good. Dependent. Okay. Versus independent uh, clauses, right? 
Very good. Now, what is the difference between the two? All right. We're just doing a quick recap of what we saw yesterday, guys. So, so uh, what's the difference? The defend need the author sentence for the. Makes sense. Okay. Makes okay, sense. An Thank you, okay. All right. So, an independent clause makes sense on its own, right? Very good. And what about the dependent clause? Remember, I told you, right? It's like la toxica or toxica, right? All right. So, what about the dependent clause, guys? What is it? When you need a complement to um, a main um, uh, make sense? Yes. <laughs> All right, I like that. Okay, so when you need another clause or you know a complement, let's call it let's call it a complement. Okay. Uh, no, actually, guys, when you need another clause, okay, for it to make sense. Okay, this is actually the, the, the um, right, so this is a dependent, the dependent clause, and right, we're going to change this to needs another, another clause for it to make sense, okay? All right, so these are the three things that we learned yesterday, yes? Esas son las tres cosas que aprendimos ayer, guys, ¿ok? All right. So, what's a clause? What are the two type clauses, well, you know, we have? And what, what the difference between those two clauses is, ¿ok? All right, beautiful, guys. So, uh, um, as another example, guys, uh, this is also, what, what if I say, guys, you know, um, Christina likes apples. What about this? Independent or independent? independent. 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 Okay, right. What about if I say because they're delicious? Dependent or independent? Independent. Independent, dependent. dependent right? So, all right, because this, this is another idea, right? So we can join them together and we can say Christina, right? Christina likes apples because they're delicious. How many, how many sentences do we have here? Yeah. We have only one. How many clauses? Two. Two. We have two clauses, right? Christina likes apples is the first one, right? Because they're delicious is the other one, right? This one is independent and this one is dependent. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. Do we have any questions, guys, from uh, what we saw yesterday? Do we have any questions? No. All right. Great. Okay, guys, so um, so it's time to talk about relative clauses, okay? And to start with relative clauses, guys, we have to start talking about relative pronouns, okay? All right? So remember this word, pronoun, okay? Because this is very important, right? It acts as a pronoun, guys, okay? So you will learn to use relative clauses in order to join two ideas into one. Okay, and this is the purpose of, uh, you know, relative pronouns. Now, these are the relative pronouns, guys. You see? That group of words is basically uh, what we call relative pronouns. Ingrid, would you please help me read the relative pronouns that we have? Who, which, okay. whose. We have who, uh-huh. Who, which? Okay. Who? We have who, which, whose, huh? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, whom? This is whom? A home. Who? Okay. Uh, what else? That. And we have that. that. Okay, very good, guys. Okay. Now, you might not know what we use this for, guys, but we're gonna get to the gist of it, okay? All right. So, hold on, all right. So before we move on, guys, okay, let's talk about 
let's look, let me give let me let me give this example right here. Okay, maybe you're not able to see it well, guys, but it says. All right, let me write it down here. It says the woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house. Okay. Very good. So who would like to help me determine, guys? First of all, how how many sentences do we have here? One. We only have one. How many clauses? Two. We have one. two clauses. Oh, we have two, guys. Okay. All right. One minus one subject, and another is... Oh well, well, well. Actually, let's let's figure it out. Um, I hadn't read it all. Okay, the woman who called yesterday wants to buy the house. Okay. Uh, yes, you only have one. You're you're right about that. Okay. You're right. So we only have one clause here, guys. Okay. Now, I want you to notice, guys, the relative pronoun. Okay. Where is the relative pronoun here? Who? Who, okay. All right. The relative pronoun is who, okay. We use who, guys. When we want to join ideas together, guys, we use who to talk about people, okay. All right. Second example. Um, let's talk about which, okay. So it says, I love the puppy, which is jumping, jumping at the kitchen, all right. Now, how many clauses do we have here? Two. Okay, very good, okay. So we have, we have two, right? I love the poppy, and then which is jumping at the kitchen, right? Now notice guys that a relative clause, all right? And this, right now we're talking about relative pronouns, right? But a relative clause guys, is, it will always, well a relative clause will always be introduced by a relative pronoun, okay? Or forget about relative clauses right now. Focus on relative pronouns, okay? Which is, uh, where is the relative pronoun here, guys? Where can we find which? the relative pronoun? Very good, okay. It is which. Now, which, guys, is used for, for what? Things and animals. Things and animals, guys, okay? Which is used to talk about which uh, things and animals, okay? Very good. Uh, let's talk about whose, okay? He, he is a man, he's a man whose opinion I respect, right? Very good, guys. So, how many clauses do we have here? Two. Okay, we have two. Where is the first clause? He's a man. He's a man. Okay. Where do we have the second clause? Whose opinion I respect. Okay. All right. Whose opinion I respect. Right. Very good. Where is the relative pronoun? Whose. Whose. Right. Very good. Okay, guys. So here, guys, we use whose for possessions of people. Okay. Right. For possessions of people or animals. Okay. All right, very good. Whom, guys? Okay. When do we use whom? All right. Let's let's have the other example here. Right. The author whom you criticized uh, criticized like this actually. Right. Uh, the author whom you criticized in your review has written. A letter, a letter, stop typing, I was reading a letter, he replied. Very good guys, so how many clauses do we have here? What do you think? Two clauses. Two. I have two, where's the first one? Is uh, the author yeah, whom you criticize it in your review? Okay. 
Okay. Has written a letter in reply. Has written a letter in reply. And reply. This is the second one right here. Yeah, for me, yes. Okay. All right. Very good, guys. Very good. And where do you have where do you have the relative clause? Home. Home, right? Home, not home, guys. Home is un hogar, okay? Home. All right, home. Home. Okay. All right, so the other home, all right, very good, guys. So these guys, okay, the difference between whom and whose guys is that we use this for people when the person is the object of the verb, okay? All right. And we use that, guys, finally. All right. The girl. Now this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quiz you guys to see if you understand this one, okay? If I say, guys, the girl, uh, <coughs> all right. Sorry, guys. You. If, I say, guys if I say the girl, um, <laughs> we met in France. I sent us a card. Okay, so where is the relative pronoun here? Where where do we have the relative pronoun here? What do you think? Uh, that. Okay, so um, so it's uh that okay. That we met. Okay, now we use this for people, things, and animals, guys. Also. We can substitute this, guys, with who, all right? Because remember, who talks about people, right? Now, let me ask you something, guys. That girl over there. Where is the relative pronoun here? At. Okay. Do you all agree, guys? Is that the relative pronoun? Yes, that. Okay. All right. Are you sure, guys? <laughs> Are you 100% sure? Uh, no, because the girl is a person, not it's a thing or animal. For me, it's not, but I don't know. Well, the answer is no, but that's not the reason why. Because we use that because... to talk about people, animals, objects. So, I mean, that is correct. Guys. Relative pronouns are used to join ideas together, okay? This is not working as a relative pronoun. This is working as a demonstrative, uh, a demonstrative what? What is that modifying, guys? Que esta modificando that? Yeah. A girl, and a girl is what? A person. A girl is a noun. I'm talking a about grammar, guys. A noun. A noun, okay? <laughs> So if it is modifying a noun, what is that? What is that guys? Yeah. guys, what in grammar modifies a noun? Que es en an adjective. It's an adjective, guys, okay? This is working as an adjective, so do not get that confused, okay? No confundan eso. All right? That, cuando se utiliza como un relative pronoun, una idea. That, when you, cuando lo sea así, that girl, es un... Uh, demonstrative adjectives. Utiliza para demostrar. Got it? Got it. Got it, guys? Okay. So, uh, you should never translate. However, you know, it's like, it, it's when you say, la chica que conocimos, right? Versus esa chica. ¿Sí? No es lo mismo, guys. Esa chica y esa chica que. All right? Si lo fueras a traducir, esto significa que, aquí, sin, sin tilde, ¿verdad? Y esto significa aquí, eso o esa. Got it? Do you understand? All right. Yeah. Now, no lo debería de recordar. So you should never remember it like that because you, you should not be translating, okay? Never, guys. All right? Translations are bad. Okay? So, anyways, okay. All right, guys. So, remember, relative pronouns, guys, will help us join ideas together, okay? So, now, let's talk about relative clauses, okay? We have, uh, well, we talked about... We talked about relative pronouns, see? Well, I want you to notice something, guys. 
who that, who that, which, who that and who that guys can be interchanged, then they mean the same, okay? So you can say the man who offered me the job or the man that offered me the job, right? Same thing with which guys. If you're talking about objects, you can interchange objects with which and that. That's the, that, that's the house in which they lived all their lives or that's the house in that they lived or all their lives, okay? All right, so just, just a quick thing to remember, okay? All right, so now I wanted to show you guys defining versus non-defining relative clauses. And this is the main topic, guys, and this is the topic that you're going to see in the midterm if you haven't done it, okay? All right, let's take a look at the first example. Uh, who would like to help me read this example, guys? Go ahead. Who would like to help me read that example, guys? Uh, me. I call. Go ahead, no problem, uh, Maria. You can continue. Okay. I called my brother who lives in Ontario. Very good. Okay. Now I know that you know how many, you know, the, the amount of clauses that we have here. How many clauses do I have here? Two clauses. Two clauses. Two. I have two clauses, right? You can identify them here, right? First one is this, and the other mm -hmm. one is here, right? Now, what type of clauses do? First of all, I have the the, the main clause here. I called my brother. Is that uh, dependent or independent? Dependent. Depe dependent. Independent. Really? I called my brother. Independent. Is independent. Okay. Independent. Who, says, who says independent, guys? Very good. It is independent, right? It makes sense on its own. Now, when I say, guys, who lives in Ontario, dependent or independent? Dependent. It is dependent, right? So, guys, this is what relative pronouns are used for, okay? A relative clause, guys, is a clause that is introduced by a relative pronoun, right? Write that down. A relative clause is a clause that is introduced by a relative pronoun, okay? All right. Got it? It is introduced, guys, by a relative pronoun. So you know, guys, oh, that's a relative. You can say, oh, that's a relative clause because, hey, it starts with who. So this who, guys, pretend that this is, guys, the subject, right? This is the subject, right? And then here, guys, lives is the verb, right? So we have a, we have a clause, right? Now, if I say, guys, I called my brother that lives in Ontario, would that be correct? Can I say that lives in Ontario? And would, would that be correct? Yes, it's correct. Yes, yes, absolutely, right? We can interchange them, okay? We can swap them over and it would make the same, it would have the same meaning, okay? So we have two types of relative clauses, okay? So remember, guys, do not get confused, right? In clauses, guys, okay, let's talk about clauses, okay? We have two types of clauses in general. Which types of clauses do we have? Which types of two clauses do we have, guys? Two types, and different. Depend okay, very good. So we have independent, right? Independent, all right? And I have, all right, dependent, okay? Now, guys, within these clauses, guys, okay, all right, usually, guys, under the dependent clause, okay, we have uh, defining, okay, I have defining or non-defining, okay, all right, so it's a sub, it's a subclass, guys, okay, got it, also, guys, you know that 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 works too in uh, in the independent clauses. Okay. Anyways, so a defining versus not defining clause, guys, is is a very complicated name, guys. It's not really that that hard to understand. Okay. A defining, okay, a defining clause. Okay. This means, guys, necessary information. What is what the, what does it mean, guys? What does it mean, guys? It's necessary, necessary information. information. Okay. Now, a non-defining relative, non-defining relative clause, guys. And I forgot to add over here. Hold on. Oh. So I forgot to add over here, guys. One thing. Hold on. All right. Oh, I forgot to bring it. 
right out of here. All right. So I have a defining relative clause, okay? So first of all, they are, you know, relative clauses, right? So it's under that category, right? So defining relative clause, guys, we said, what is it, guys? Necessary information, right? Now, what do you think a non a non defining relative clause is then? If if guys if a relative if I define a relative clause guys is necessary information, what do you think is a non defining relative clause? Unnecessary. Very good, exactly, guys. Okay, this is unnecessary. Right, I think I misspelled it there, guys. Like, hold on, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna say uh, information not needed, okay? Or you can say, you can also say extra information, right? So that is not defining, okay? All right, so when you have a clause, guys, and the clause needs the information, that is a defining clause, okay? If the clause doesn't need the extra information, guys, it's non-defining. Okay? I know right now that doesn't make sense, okay? Ahorita sé que no tiene sentido eso, guys. Right? Pero ahorita van a entender. Right? For example, guys, uh, if I say, I called my brother who lives in Ontario, okay? You tell me, guys, okay? I called my brother who lives in Ontario, right? Now, first of all, the first thing that you have to do, guys, step number one, you have to identify the relative clause, okay? Step number one, guys, what is it? Oh. Identify the relative clause, okay? And wh where is the relative clause here, guys? Who lives in Ontario. Who lives in Ontario, okay? All right? Remember, guys, the relative clause is the one introduced by a relative pronoun, right? So who lives in Ontario? Now, how do I ident how do I identify guys if this is a defining or non-defining? Okay. So step number two, guys, identify if it is defining or not defining. Okay. So how do I that who how do I identify this? The way I do it, guys, is hey, in this sentence, guys, how many sentences do I have, guys? How many sentences do I have here? Two. Only one, right? I only have one. And I have how many clauses? Two. I have two clauses. Now, guys. Now, in order to identify this, guys, all right, is this part right here necessary for this for this uh, idea? Yes or no? I called my brother, okay? Si yo te digo, yo llamé a mi hermano que, que vive en Ontario, all right? Me estoy refiriendo a ese específico hermano, right? I'm, so if I tell you that I called my brother who lives in Ontario, I'm referring to that specific brother, okay? So I need the information because otherwise I wouldn't know which brother you're talking about, got it? Okay? okay. So notice, guys, that they usually don't have any commas, but now take a look at this. What if I say, guys, my brother who lives in Ontario is older, okay? Pay attention to this, guys, because this is very critical to understanding this, okay? Um, hold on. My brother who lives in Ontario is older, okay? My, my brother, right, Coma, who lives in Ontario is older, okay? Now, guys, notice something here, okay? What is the main idea of the first sentence? ¿Qué quieres lograr decir con la primera oración, guys? What do you want to say with the first sentence? And you are specifying what brother do you call? Okay, very good. Exactly. Okay. Here, guys, you're specifying the type, you know, which brother you call. Here, guys, what is the main idea? That's what you have to identify. When you say my brother who lives in Ontario is older, which is the main idea here, guys? His brother is older than him. Okay, exactly, guys. I am talking about his age, okay? That is the main idea. 
Now, let me ask you something else. If I erase this, guys, if I erase my brother who lives in Ontario, if I erase who lives in Ontario, does the idea make sense? If I say my brother is older, does it make sense? Yo digo, guys, mi hermano es más viejo. ¿Tiene sentido? Yes. All right. Ahora, con esta persona dice, mi hermano, a quien le gusta comer pizza, es más viejo que yo. All right. Eso de que le gusta comer pizza, guys, ¿Es la idea principal o la idea principal es que más viejo que yo? It's, it's more older. All right. It's older, not more older. Okay. It means that it's... Okay. It means, it means like, that he's older, guys. The main idea is that he's older. Notice, guys, that they're going to be separated by commas. So basically, guys, a defining clause, okay, uh, is necessary information, right? A non-defining clause, guys, can be identified by comma. This is like putting parentheses. Es como que pongas algo en parentheses. Cuando pones algo en parentheses, no es información principal. Es información extra, right? Right? But not, it's not main information, the main information. Got it? So here, guys, we are joining, okay? So uh, with all of this explained, guys, we're talking about, hey, two ideas together, okay? I call my brother, all right? And the other idea, he lives in Ontario, okay? So what, why do we need relative clauses, guys? Why do we need relative clauses? We need relative clauses, guys, to join two ideas together, okay? Para eso nos sirven las relative clauses, para unir dos ideas. Got it? Okay. So what are the two, two ideas that I have here? I called my brother and he lives in Ontario. How can I join him? We we join two ideas together. Okay, I join them guys with with a with a with a relative pronoun, right? I called my brother that lives in Ontario, okay? Let's have another idea, okay? What about um I Let's say I saw, I saw, I saw Charlie, all right? He uh, sold me a car, okay? How many ideas do I have here? Two. <laughs> okay, I have two, okay? How can I join them together using relative pronouns, uh, you know, relative clauses? ¿Cómo puedo unir esa idea? I saw Charlie who sold me, me a car. Okay. Now, you, that's that's good, okay? But if you say, I saw Charlie, okay, uh, who sold me a car, all right, this would be extra information, okay? If you want to say, I saw a man, okay, I saw the man, you can say, I saw the man. Who sold me that car? Okay. Sorry, the car. Like this, okay. I saw the man who sold me a car. <clears throat> right? Now this is this is very important, guys, okay? If you say I saw Charlie guys who sold me a car, you're you it sounds like the main idea is Charlie guys, okay? So just just for you to to I don't want to complicate your life here, okay? Let me erase that part here, okay? Alright, you can say I saw a man, okay, he sold me a car, okay? So you can understand, right? I saw the man who sold me, or I saw a man who sold me a car, or the car. Got it? All right, very good. So two ideas together, right? Uh, let's see, guys. Give me another, give me two other ideas that we can join. Remember that they have to be related, right? They have to have some sort of relation, right? So who can give me another idea, guys? Give me puede dar otra idea, otra dos ideas. Yes. Um, me. Go ahead. Okay. My sister likes. Um. Um. Play. Guitar. Give me 
sister, my sister likes to play the guitar. Okay. All right. What is the second idea that we're gonna add related to your sister or the guitar? Um, you another idea. Her, you can help her, guys. Yes. Yes, I want you to give me an idea, guys, that is related either to the sister or to the guitar, okay? Deme una idea que esté relacionada con the sister or the guitar. Dígame algo de la hermana o dígame algo de la guitarra. The guitar. The guitar. The guitar. Okay. R. Guitar. The guitar is not R. Uh, yes, sorry. Is um B? I don't know. <laughs> or yes. Okay. Or... The guitar is amazing. Okay, let's leave it at yeah. that. It's amazing. Okay, so how can we join these two ideas together, guys? Simple, just just relative pronouns. Uh, my sister likes to play the guitar. My sister likes very good to play the guitar. Yeah. Um, let me see. That guitar is that. That. that very good. Notice, guys, that that will substitute the guitar. That. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, right? Very good. See? Easy piece, right? Very good. Plus for Maria Belen, guys. Well done, Maria Belen. All right, great. Okay, guys. Okay. Now, do you know, do you understand, guys, why it is important to to understand relative clauses? Entendemos todo, guys, porque es importante tener las relative clauses? Yes? Yes. Great. All right. Very good, guys. Very good, okay? Now, the same thing happens, guys, when you talk about, uh, you can use other scenarios, right? Uh, for your knowledge, guys, you, you only have to worry about who and that, okay? But you have which and whom and who's, right? So now, if you want to identify, guys, remember, if you want to identify if it is defining or not defining, what is the difference of defining and not defining, guys? Defining need more information and not defining doesn't need. Very good, okay. No, and also, guys, we can, identify, we can identify them by the commas, right? Got it? All right. Very good. You don't need two commas, right? You can say, for example, hey, uh, you can say, they introduced me to John, okay, who I liked immediately. Okay, you can say whom I like too, you know, that's okay. Now here guys, is this information that we need whom I like immediately? Yes or no? Is this the main idea, guys? Or they introduced me to John is the main idea. What do you think? Introduced to me. Exactly, John. this information guys is optional. It even has a comma, right? It's like say, hey, me presentaron a John. A quien que me agradó inmediatamente. See? All right, got it? I don't need, saying that, hey, que me agradó inmediatamente, it's just extra, guys, okay? Extra information, I don't really need that information, got it? Okay, very good. All right, guys, okay. All right, now, guys, I'm gonna leave you to it, all right? And then, um, you know what? Let's do something, okay? Let's go over the platform exercises first, and then we are going to the exercise here okay all right guys so i take it that you fit you've uh you finished the the midterm did you did you finish the midterm no yes no okay. today i finished all right that, that's fine because we just saw it right did we finish uh section three section three yes all right very good no, guys yes. oh. Very good. Okay, so okay. Um, okay, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna help you guys with section three either way, okay? Because 
Uh, it's Thursday. We don't have a class tomorrow, okay? So let me pull it out here. Any questions, guys, meanwhile? You're going to get to practice, don't worry. All right. Okay, so let's go over section three here. Okay, let's see. Uh, well, this this exercise, I think you know. This exercise is a listening exercise. Do I have anything that is written here? Okay, here. All right, very good. So three point ten, right? So it says. All right, uh, Maylin, help me read, Maylin. Introduction. No, this right here. What are you, oh, I'm sorry. I got you, right, this right here. Review, answer, using the relative clause, you have to write one whole sentence. Remember, you may use who or that for people in which or right or that's for things. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, right. Remember, you may use who or that for people and which or or that for things, right? So what we saw, right? So it gives you some examples here. But um, let's see, guys. For whoever hasn't finished this part right here, Maria Belen, what do you think the answer for number one is? It says, who is Ang Lee? He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Uh, he's a movie director. Mm -hmm. uh, who made the film Hulk. Okay, so he is, okay, let's say he's a movie director, who or that, right? Doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Made the film Hulk. Hulk, okay, All right. So the answer should be like this, let's see. There you go, All right? Good job, Maria. <laughs> All right, very good. Uh, let's see, Jose Ilan, what do you think the answer for number two is? Have you heard of Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, it's an action movie. It starts Johnny Depp. Jose Ilan. Sí. Eh, sería... No Spanish. No. So what do you think the answer is? Remember, you just have to join the two ideas together using relative clauses. I mean, just in general, pronouns, I'm sorry. Would anybody, uh, does anybody want to help you guys? Uh, me? Uh, go, ahead. go ahead. Yes, it's an action sorry. movie which is, a, which stars Johnny uh, Depp. Okay, which stars Johnny, right, Johnny Depp. Very good, guys. Okay, good job. All right. Uh, let's see. Ingrid, number three. It's a musical about a girl who becomes a celebrity. Who becomes a celebrity. Good job. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Jenny. Jenny, uh, hold on. Let's go, Jenny. All right, she's still there. I, uh, Rafael, all right, number four. Yes, it was a great book. Yes, that okay. is. That it was hard that to was. put. No, remember guys, the, the relative pronoun that replaces... That was... Okay, very good. That okay. was hard that to was, put down. That was hard to put down. Okay, very good. Let's see. Good job. All right. Great job, guys. And applause for you. Well done, guys. Okay. See? Easy peasy, right? Very good. So this is the only hard part, you know, that we have in the Section 3. Right? Everything else should be self-explanatory all right now let's um let's see what we have in the midterm we're listening 
rewriting sentences. Now, this one might give you some issues, right? But this is, guys, uh, passive, remember? You have to use passives. Okay. Passives, uh, completing. So this is the only one that might give you issues, rewriting. I'm, I'm going to help you with the first one, guys, and you do the rest, okay? All right, so Ingrid, did you did you finish the midterm already? No, right? Okay, so what is the answer for number one? It says George Lucas directed the Star Wars movies. The Star Wars movies. Oh, you're seeing the answer down there. All right, what is it? <laughs> All right, let's do the oh, number two. All right, let's do number two. Uh, the world wide world hmm? was. Uh, develop, develop, uh -huh. develop by Tim Berners Lee. Very good. The World Wide Web was developed by uh, Tim Berners Lee, right? And period. Very good. Good job. Hey, remember to use the dash guys and the period. Otherwise, it won't be taken correctly. Okay. Very good. All right, part two, let's say. Right. So that's, guys, this is basically how you have to submit the answers, okay? Number part two, guys, uh, let's do number one. Comedies are a type of movie. They usually make people laugh. Let's join the two ideas together. Uh, let's see, Giovanni. Let's join the first one. Okay. Com comedies are a type of movie that usually make people laugh. 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 Very good, okay. Comedies are a type of movie that usually, or which usually, you can use that or which, guys, doesn't matter, okay? Okay. Usually make people laugh, all right? Let's see. And yes, that is correct, okay? Other than that, guys, I don't consider you are going to have issues uh, doing this midterm. Do you have any question, guys? Is there anything that is not so clear? All right. So in that case, guys, let's finish these exercises. And let's call it a night after that. All right. Uh, take a screenshot, guys, real quick. And let's complete them. Somebody please send it to the group. You don't need to. <laughs> Thank you, Ingrid. Uh, somebody's going to take a screenshot and we'll send it to the group, okay? Ahí le va a tomar a screenshot y va a mandar al grupo para que veo que está con todo. All right. Very good. Uh, okay, guys. So, good? Did you take a screenshot? All right. Next one, guys. Take a screenshot. And send it to the group, please. Good, 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 all right. Well, this one, guys, you, we're not going to have time to do the other five, okay? So let's work together, guys, and that's it. Let's do it. Let's go, guys. Night. Hi. Okay. Night. XXR number one. She worked for a man. The, the man used to be an athlete. 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 Yes.
good, guys? Any questions? You good, guys? Any questions? All right. Number two, call a lawyer who like no, no, no. The number one, the number one is she was. Right, number one. She okay, wrote the number one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Work for a man who used to be. Um, I can't hear you. Hi. Hola, no te escucho nada. Very friendly. The um, waiters, waiters, which huh? oh. no, because it's a person that or who was very friendly. That's that was very friendly. That was very. Okay. Okay. Number okay. Five. five. We broke the computer. Oh. We broke the computer. The computer. That which? or which? Which belong to my father. Uh -huh. I think it's which for I think. J Live City. Who is in the north of England? No, that. Who lives in a city that is in the north of England? Man is in the garden that is wearing a blue jumper. The girls works in the bank. Who's from India?
All right, guys, welcome back. I don't know what happened to your break, to your breaking rooms. Anyways, guys, so um, so remember, guys, uh, please complete the platform, guys. If you want to advance in the platform, guys, go ahead. You can finish the platform if you want, all right? But I really need you to finish the midterm, guys. Uh, today, right? You need to finish it, guys. Okay? It's not really, it's not really long, guys. Okay, just finish all the exercises, send me screenshots, guys, and you're good to go. Do you have any questions, guys? Any requests? Anything? All right. Great, guys. So in that case, guys, um, have a great weekend. All right. Enjoy. Remember, don't drive if you drink, and if you drink, invite me. All right. See you guys. Take care. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.